A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, the second chapter. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. When Herod saw that he had been tricked, he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they were no more. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Please join me in the litany. I weep for our children who are no more. I weep for our boys who are no more. I weep for our girls who are no more. I weep for our parents who grieve. I weep for our families forced to grieve. I weep for our cities and towns torn by gun violence and terror. I weep. I invite you to name aloud or silently those in neighborhood streets, schools, that have been affected by gun violence. And as our bishop said, we remember the community in Virginia Beach. They are in the midst of grief and chaos and numbness. I weep. I cry out for the justice of our children. I cry out for hope for our boys. I cry out for serenity for our girls. I cry out for tranquility for our parents. I cry out for peace in our cities and towns. I pray for hope. I act for peace. I work for justice. Let us pray. God of peace, God of justice, you weep with us for our children, our brothers and sisters, our parents, our families, our cities and towns torn apart by gun violence. Give us courage, give us determination, give us strength that we may work untiringly for the hope and peace and justice you desire for all the world. This we ask through your Son, the Prince of Peace, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hello, I am Stephen Cheney, the campus pastor at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. I want to thank you, the North Carolina Lutheran Synod, for asking me to say a few words concerning our campus community. As you know, UNC Charlotte became yet one more place where senseless violence occurred. We lost two students on the last day of class, April 30th. Another four students were shot. Although these students come from a campus of 30,000 students, in some way or another, everyone involved was part of Niner United Campus Ministry, your Lutheran campus ministry at UNC Charlotte. Obviously, we are very heartbroken. The two who died, Riley and Reed, were on our roster of students and had attended some of our events. Our campus has changed forever, and our campus ministry has changed forever as well. The Apostle Paul reminded the church in Galatia to bear one another's burdens, and for quite a while now, we have bearing 
been bearing one another's burdens, and I suspect that we'll continue to do so for the long haul. So we appreciate you so much at the Synod, and because you've reached out with your prayers and your love and your support, you have been essential to our campus ministry and our presence on campus. So please continue to hold us in your prayers and your thoughts, and especially hold our students and our faculty and our staff and families of all those who are affected. Your prayers are heard and welcome. Thank you so much.